Hello everybody, welcome back. So, uh, most mornings, or not not lately, but it used to be most mornings we'd come down to the beach, walk around, pick up trash. Uh, so today we're going to walk around the beach a little bit, and I'm going to give us the uh, one month total of what it cost us to live here. Because they say you can live here for 10 to 12,000 US dollars to live a Western lifestyle, and I've always said I don't believe it. But we're going to try and see if it's true and so today i'm going to give you all of our figures for one month it might be off by 100 or 200 pesos but that's going to be about it because we've kept pretty good records of everything so so here we go we're going to just walk around the beach and i'm going to give you us all the figures For the month of January, our food cost us 18,216 pesos. And if you translate that into US dollars, that's 364 US dollars. And that includes going out to eat four different times. Two of those times was a fancier uh, seafood restaurant. <laughs> and I don't eat rice, so that runs the cost of our food up also. Because for Filipinos, eat rice three times a day, and that's their main part of their meal is rice. Whereas me being an American, the main part of my meal usually is some kind of meat. So, I didn't think that was too bad for a whole month, considering we went out to eat four times. Next, we have the fuel. The fuel was 12,300 pesos. And that's diesel. That's for the truck and for our generator. So... Considering we ran a generator for about a week and a half, and that takes, uh, cost about a dollar an hour to run the generator. So that was 12,300 pesos, which equals 246 US dollars. And that was for a whole month. Uh, household, anything that goes to the house, uh, any kind of repairs or fixes, things like that, upgrades or even shovels, things like that. It's 4,970 pesos, which equals $99. <clears throat> Next we have medical. But since I'm old, I take pills. <laughs> and we were both sick, so we needed medicine for that. We both had a cold for about a week. So the medical was 1,539 pesos, which equals $31. And that will go up because as my medicine from the U.S. is running out, I'll have to keep buying more here. Uh, I had to get a Filipino driver's license. So that driver's license was 1,220 pesos, which I had equals 24 U.S. dollars. A little expensive and a very long, drawn-out process. It took us pretty much most of the day. We left home about 7 o'clock in the morning, and I think we got home around 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So a very long process, very long day, very boring. And i got to go back because somehow my driver's license number is not correct. I got the same one as somebody else. So I'm sure I'll probably have to pay another 1,220 pesos again, but we'll see. Now for the month of January, our utilities, which includes our electric, our water, and our uh, satellite TV. But uh, the electricity was not full electricity uh, because they didn't read our meter. So we only got billed partially. So our utilities for the month of January was 749 pesos, which equals 15 US dollars. Next, we have beer, because my wife likes to drink beer. <laughs> so that was 9,279 pesos. That <laughs> makes you snort, huh? <laughs> so that equaled about 186 US dollars. Now that being said, my wife was sick for a week, so she didn't drink as much there. <laughs> so next month, that could go up. And then, next on the list we have uh, 
massages. We each had two massages for the month. So for four massages, that's 3,000 pesos, which equals 60 US dollars or $15 per massage. And that masseuse comes to her house and that's for one hour per person. So a total of four hours for 60 US dollars. That's a pretty good bargain as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, because the U.S. costs like $60. About $60 for an hour or less. Yeah. So, so for the total of the month to live a Western or a U.S. lifestyle in the Philippines cost us 51,273 pesos, which equals 1,025 U.S. dollars. So that isn't bad, but for us, we have and do other things so it cost us more so for the rest of our total we did a giveaway of 110 flip-flops to kids on a remote island that got hit hard by the typhoon odette so that cost us 6785 pesos or 136 us dollars for 110 kids which isn't bad we also have a farm so for the pig's food for that farm, it cost us 13,600 pesos, or $272. And we also have workers to pay, which was 7,000 pesos, which is approximately 140 US dollars. So our grand total for all that was 78,658 pesos, or 1,573 US dollars for the whole month of January. So if we didn't have a farm or do any kind of give back stuff to people, we would have been, like I said, at 1,025 US dollars. So that would be close to the 12,000 US dollars per year. But every month we're gonna give back in some way or somehow. All right, so if we didn't have the farm or do any give back kind of stuff, we could almost hit the 12,000 per year to live the Western lifestyle or American lifestyle. So every month we're gonna do this for one year to see how close we get to the 12,000. If we didn't have the farm or do any giveaway stuff to see, I, I think we'll probably hit between 12 and 13,000, but we'll wait and see. And every month we plan to do giveaway stuff. So, some months it'll be more than others, of course. And the same with the pigs. Uh, once they have piglets, the, the food will get more expensive. So there'll be a month or so in there where the price of the pig's food goes up. But then once we sell the piglets, the price will be dropped back down. So it'll all equal out in the end. Now, everybody always asks me, how much is gas there? So I don't really know usually because we don't buy gas. We buy diesel because our truck's diesel and the generator's diesel. So, for those of you in the U.S. that go by gallons, here diesel is approximately $4.32 a gallon. Because everything here is in liters and it's all in pesos, so i got to do the conversion. My conversion may be off a little bit, but it's fairly close. So, for those of you with gas, uh, gas here per gallon would be $5.60 per gallon because it's about 70 cents, or sorry, 70 pesos per liter here right now. So I'm not sure what gas is in the U.S. right now, but that's what it is here in the Philippines. I'm sure it's more here because everything is here on this island is more. So let me know what it is in the U.S., people. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.